uh hi guys this is sushant kuchar today we are going to talk about what uh, how you can change your bmr uh, metabolism uh, so earlier i talked about the factors that affect your bmr one of the most important factors that you uh, have control over is um, muscle mass that is present in your body so the amount of muscle that you carry in your body now um, um majority of the people would want to increase their bmr because they uh, if the bmr is high they can eat more without getting fat they can lose fat easily so they want to gain uh, more uh, they, they want to increase their bmr uh, although i mentioned it in my previous videos that uh, having eating too much uh, means that your digestive system has to work too much and uh, if you imagine it as a machine then your digestive uh, that machine is going to give up soon if you ask it to do more work so uh, even as per science uh, more bmr is likely linked with lesser life span so if you have higher bmr you are more likely to live lesser as per science and even as per uh, spiritual or religious texts uh, uh, if you give rest to your digestive system uh, and your organs um uh, you're going to live longer because you're using lesser of your machinery if you give it a lot of food every day and you're uh, making it uh, digest it uh, making it work a lot in digestion uh, making your body work a lot then basically you are um, using the machinery a lot so you are going to um, die sooner <laughs> kind of okay so uh, there uh, so most of the people want to increase the bmr so we are going to talk about how we can increase the bmr then we are going to talk about how we can decrease the bmr now uh, in increasing the bmr can be done in two ways one is a permanent way where your bmr increases permanently and there uh, is a temporary way where your uh, temporary way where your bmr increases for um, for short period of time so first permanent way so increase muscle mass in your body uh as you increase muscle mass in your body your bmr increases uh, so if you have been a normal guy normally born and brought up uh, you should use this way to increase your bmr you should increase try to increase your muscle mass in your body and that should increase your bmr now the second way is to reverse diet now what reverse dieting is uh, i'll explain it in um, detail in my future videos but uh, for now i'll explain it in brief um so let's say there is a lady with bmr 1400 and that lady um, thinks that she is uh, too fat so she starts uh, going to the gym 6 days a week and doing intense workout uh and then she also decides to eat uh, a lot less than she should be eating uh, she crash diets uh, i talked about crash dieting in my previous videos so she crashed diets and uh, so she has a bmr of 1400 calories if she is working out 6 days intensely uh, in a week then her maintenance is 2415 calories uh, divide uh, multiplying 1400 by 1.725 i talk uh, so that is how we calculate maintenance calories you can see it in how to calculate maintenance calories video of mine okay so her she would maintain her weight on 2415 calories uh if she eats a little bit lesser she would start to lose weight but what she decides to do is she starts uh, doing so much workout and she eats just 1000 calories per day and she keeps doing, uh, she kept doing it for 3 months so what happens is your body wants to survive when you start giving so less energy to your body it would start to burn lesser energy to survive because if uh, the body keeps on burning 2400 uh, calories every day then from where would you get so much weight you would die uh, ultimately if you keep losing so much weight uh, so your body would start decreasing your maintenance it would start burning lesser calories per day even when you are doing the same activities that you are doing uh, so after 3 months she has um, uh reduced her so uh, after three months she stopped losing weight so her maintenance kind of became 1000 calories her bmr came down her maintenance calories came down so and she lost muscle uh, also so she is not losing weight at all so she suffered from metabolic shutdown uh, her metabolism kind of shut down now uh, what does this lady should be doing 
Now she should start at around 1100 or 1200 calories and she should um, increase 100 to 150 calories per 7 to 10 days. So she starts at 1100 or 1200 calories and she stays over uh, there for like 7 to 10 days and then she keeps adding 100 to 150 calories every 7 to 10 days. So um, that is how she should be increasing. As she increases the calories, her body would start burning more energy uh, again because she is getting uh, energy in surplus. Uh, so her the body would again start burning more energy. So eventually she can reach uh, back to 2415 um, calories of maintenance by slowly increasing the calories. Um, now. Uh, that is how you, uh, th this process is called reverse diet, you reverse the diet and you again um, came to came back to where you wanted to eat. Um, so, so basically for this girl, she should, what she should do is, she should reverse diet first, try to increase her maintenance and once she has come to her normal maintenance of 23, 24 hundred calories when she is working out 6 days intensely in the gym, then she should try to increase her muscle mass. Then she should try to increase her muscle mass just like a normal case. So this is a brief about uh, reverse dieting um, that you keep increasing the calories so that your maintenance increases, your BMR increases and you uh, come to a normal uh, decent level of BMR and maintenance. Now I will uh, talk about uh, um, reverse dieting in more detail in my future videos. Okay. So, um, these were two uh, permanent methods. If you re have reverse diet, so when you have again brought your maintenance back up to 2400, now it is not that uh, if it is going to abruptly decrease uh, or if you have uh, gained significant amount of muscle mass and your BMS, BMR has increased significantly, it is not that it is going to decrease uh, abruptly. Now, we would talk about temporary uh, ways of increasing BMR exercise. So, when you are exercising, so let's say I went to the gym today and did some workout. So I kind of uh, uh, tear my muscles uh, by weight training in the gym. Uh, I have talked about this uh, in my previous videos. Um, so the next day or the next two or three days my body would be recovering even when I am uh, lying down on bed. So while that recovery process burns uh, a lot of energy. So even uh, at rest I would be burning more energy so my BMR increases. Uh, but that would be only when I am exercising. If I don't exercise, after a couple of days uh, my BMR would come back to what it used to be. Eat more protein, so BMR, uh, protein has more thermic effect of food, uh, higher thermic effect of food. I have talked about thermic effect of food in my previous videos. So it would burn off uh, more energy but only when you are eating more food, uh, more protein, eating more protein for that day. So again that is temporary. If you don't eat more protein, then again your BMR comes back to what it used to be. Cold water. Mm, drink cold water so your body would uh, try to uh, maintain the temperature kind of a thing so try to increase the temperature uh, and it would burn off more calories when your BMR increases mm, uh, you should not be drinking uh, cold water uh, as per Ayurveda as it is not healthy always now eat more spicy food uh, spicy foods can increase your BMR but uh, eating a lot of spicy foods is not good for health as per Ayurveda so uh, not a good way. Move more, more movement, body movement to burn off more energy. Um, a logical thing that you can do. Now, uh, drink coffee or green tea. Um, some science says that it can increase your uh, BMR, but um, Ayurveda says that they are not uh, uh, really uh, uh, too good for your health, uh, uh, at least not daily, on a daily basis. Uh, so again, uh, if you drink green tea and maybe your BMR increases, that is only when you drink green tea. Okay. So you want to get good sleep um, that can help you uh, raise your BMR or for, for the days that you are uh, having a good sleep. Uh, so one should try to take at least 6 hours of sleep. Um, 7 hours plus is said to be a decent number. So one can try to get 7 to 8 hours of sleep but at least 6 hours of sleep. Uh, and 7 plus hours is a decent number. Okay, so these were temporary methods of increasing the BMR. So if you stop doing these methods, you would uh, your BMR comes back to what it used to be. 
but not when you have done these methods your muscle is going to be with you your reverse diet uh, when you have increased your maintenance it is going to be with you now if you can decrease your bmr you can lose muscle <laughs> and it can help you lose uh, your bmr uh, decrease your bmr but uh, who wants to lose muscle muscle makes you look good and muscle uh, makes you strong so you do not want to do that and now how much uh, your bmr decreases or increases when you lose or gain muscle i'll talk about this in my next one or two videos and uh, second method uh, to decrease your bmr is to uh, do caloric restriction or dieting so eating lesser than what you're eating so let's say your maintenance calories were 3000 calories now if you're eating 2700 calories for a long period of time like 3 4 months or, or so so then your body would start um, burn, burning of lesser amount of calories that it uh, then it was burning so it would try to uh, take down the maintenance to 2900 2800 2700 it would try to take down the maintenance so uh, eating lesser food can help you take down the bmr or metabolism if uh, you think it is really high so when you should change your bmr or your metabolism uh, see there is a there can be a desired range for men and women of their bmr so when you are going to out of that range you might want to change your bmr i'm going to be talking about this in my uh, upcoming one or two or so videos so if you like this video please like comment and share i'll see you in the next video bye, -bye.